is uh, Sandra Pasquale, and I'm the uh, web practice lead, web engineering uh, lead. I've been here about two months, and um, I'm excited about what we're building. Uh, web engineering, uh, as everyone knows, is a, is a, is a huge thing right now. Um, what we generally do are web technologies. So these will be things like client-side frameworks like React and Vue and so on. And, of course, Node.js, HTML, CSS, and building uh, websites, uh, web pages, uh, views, dashboards, uh, and so on uh, for clients. Um, what developers get out of it? Uh, I think developers are able to work at some of the best clients in the world, uh, massive distributed systems, uh, huge build pipelines that if you, anything you want to learn, uh, our clients will give you the chance to learn that. Um, do you want to work with petabytes of data? Do you want to work with uh, millions of users? Do you want to work with the most advanced uh, component libraries around? Uh, well, that's the kind of stuff we build here. That's a good question. The developers that catch my attention are people that have uh, tried new new technologies and tried new things, uh, people that are trying to go above and beyond what they may have learned in school. Uh, I look for people that um, have good thinking tools, that can, uh, have, uh, can make decisions about problems that aren't based on, say, trends or, or what's hot right now, but they really think through the, the topology of what they're building the scale, the, the types of users, the, the forms of data, the, the general uh, you know time complexity, and uh, balance different solutions and are able to talk about why they might choose one solution over the other. And uh, that's what I really look for. Uh, of course, they have to be skilled in, in what they do, but um, a lot of people can just kind of memorize things. But if they don't really understand why they believe what they believe, just in like, like in life, it's a good idea to know why you make those decisions. And, and that's what I look for. And I really value uh, engineers that can uh, that enjoy facing things they've never faced before and thinking through the problem. <laughs> InRhythm is a, a, a learning and growth culture. Our, our entire uh, business is focused on uh, making engineers better. We, we bring in good engineers. We, we want to want you to leave as a great engineer. And so uh, we do things like uh, code lounges, uh, lightning talks, uh, power ups, and, and I generally give everyone a career plan when they when they start, so that they can look at what they know, what they don't know, most importantly, and how they can get to a level that they want to get to within some period of time. This could have very direct effects on their career. I want to be a leader in a year, uh, and so on. But it may just be something as simple as I really want to get good at understanding React. Um, so uh, I'm personally a, a big Node and, and JavaScript uh, a fan. I've, I've written a few books on Node.js, and, and I really want to encourage people to use that language uh, to to build, uh, uh, to do web engineering. But of course, uh, there's many other tools and, and, and technologies that uh, we use. <music> Our, our roles are, we constantly have roles, a uh, growing list um, as we grow clients, as we grow staff. Um, there's um, any anything under the sun, um, any any kind of aspect of web engineering, at least in my purview, uh, is certainly available to you. And then we also work with Java. We work with, if you want to work in tests and deployment, DevOps, SDET. These are all uh, fields that we uh, are directly involved with and at the very highest level. And um, we're constantly hiring for those, uh, those roles and, and constantly getting new clients. Right now, I'm, I'm extremely interested in how do you deal with distributed systems, as I'm sure a lot of people are. Uh, this, that's an enormous topic. Uh, there's no, no, no distillation exactly, but uh, right now I'm focusing on serverless technologies. Um, microservices was sort of the, in the same field. Uh, a lot of debate around what those terms mean. But in general, distributed systems that have uh, small units of distinct functionality that are integrated and composed. And I think that's really, really exciting because not only is it uh, you know a complex problem that that you know challenges you, but it, it's incredibly cheap now to build huge scalable systems and yet uh, uh, not a lot of people are doing it so we're certainly doing it we're certainly trying to find the, the most the best way to be more efficient uh, uh, with our work and uh, and I think this is a, a good direction but in general distributed systems how do you deal with synchronizing databases how do you deal with uh, you know national or that is international uh, messaging gateways and SMS and, and of course social and, and so on there's this it's, it's a really exciting world I think I think there's nothing that's been done yet uh, that is as exciting what's going to happen in the next two years.